Alright, hey guys, what's going on? It's Shorty here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. But that's not really the main part that I want to talk to you guys about. In this video, that's right ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It has officially been confirmed as the new game for next for 2018 COD. Now, I know y'all probably thinking it's kind of weird that games go, the fourth series normally goes in threes as we saw in Modern Warfare, but... Anyway, we saw the I saw the release trailer that came out recently, and there was nothing, no really new information besides the new logo for Black Ops 4. Which, even though it's kind of weird, because I thought it'd be the n regular normal n Roman numerals, it's just an extra one. But I mean, it still looks kind of cool. I like it. Um, basically, the trailer didn't show us anything new. It just showed us the highlights from the past three games. So it had like, you know, campaign missions, zombies, multiplayer, you know, everything in there. Um, but it has been confirmed that they are going to go in the more, uh, boots to ground Call of Duty style, so it won't be as much jetpacking or any at all, so, I know people are trying to t tend away from that, I mean, I enjoy it in Black Ops 3, but whenever it hit IW, many people did not enjoy it as much, um, but I think Black Ops 4 will be a successful game, um, because, w as we saw with like Black Ops 3, Black Ops 3 wasn't the first advanced movement Call of Duty. The advanced, first advanced movement Call of Duty was like, was like Ghost and Advanced Warfare and stuff. And then when we were called, when we were Black Ops 3 came out, it was perfect because people were used to it and was tired of the not so refined version. So that's what I feel like Black Ops 4 is going to be good because World War 2 came out and as many people liked the traditional look of Call of Duty, they really didn't like how this movement was, and if Treyarch does a good enough job with the game, it'll be exactly the same thing that happened with Black Ops 3. Um, I saw this thing, which I kind of agreed with, because I was wondering, I was like, why, out of all the maps, would they choose Redwood to do Winter, you know? Like, no one liked Red Redwood, you know, like, why was that? And so, I saw someone tweeted out, um, his name was Nuketrocity. But, like, I agreed with it completely, and it was, like, a little, like, setup. So, he's saying that the Frost map, which is Redwood F Frost, is a connection to a Russian Spec Ops mission in World War III named Stay Frosty. So, basically, they're trying to relate it to that era, and then, and then, anyway, I think Black Ops 4 will be it. I don't think there'll be any Black Ops 5, because once you, once you hit a peak of something then it's definitely going to go downhill, um, but, and then also Black Ops 4 will be in between, will be before Black Ops 2, now, I know you're probably thinking, like, how do I know that ever, it's because Black Ops 2 started in 2035, and if this is going to be a current video game, this is going to be before that time, meaning it'll be before Black Ops 2, now, I won't really throw the game off, you know, it'll just be like, more modern controls and stuff, you know, maybe we'll see some modern maps or whatever. Um, but I feel like, you know, it should be a good campaign and a good mission since they ha brought in actual specialists who knew the guns and stuff of this current era to help out. So, um, also, I think that World at War will not be remastered, but it will be a, it'll be a backwards compatible version because... I know they're talking about, this is not track, but talking about uh, World War, their, Modern Warfare 2 is getting remastered, but like, I don't think World War, World War, War is going to get remastered, because if this game is as big as a hit as they think it's going to be, they don't really need to worry about it. Um, the last thing I was thinking about is, I think since Treyarch is doing Black Ops 4, I think Modern Warfare 4 is going to probably come out, as seeing how that was the biggest hit for that series, is this Modern Warfare. Um, but that's what I think is going to be the COD of 2019. Now, I could be wrong, that's just speculation. But, basically, to wrap up this, my thoughts of Black Ops 4, I think it should be a pretty good game. I'm excited for it. You know, like, I mean, I play World War II and I like the boots to ground system, but I feel like since Treyarch has done a very good job with their games in the past, they should definitely have refined it, and it's going to be really, really good. Um, but, also, I, I'm excited for the campaign, because I like modern stuff. And I like the campaigns of Modern Warfare, not just, you know,
because I like the people in it, but also because of like the gameplay and the style. Because I've Black Ops 3 has been out for a couple years now, and I haven't even finished the campaign. But anyway, that's really all I had for you guys today. Thank you very much, and hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Until next time, see you guys later. This is Shorty XBL signing out. Peace. Black Ops at work. It's a beautiful thing. Only the strongest survive.